So we will continue to uh, pursue our installation of um, an operating system using the Windows 98 CD, startup CD, which I, we have changed the uh, startup sequence. And you have, of course, seen the Dean McDonald's uh, the tech scale video on what is a primary hard disk, what is the secondary, uh, what is the uh, primary master, primary slave, secondary master, and secondary slave. So I'm not going to detail about it. Right now, what I will do is I'm just going to change my hard disk configuration to be master. Okay, on this particular hard drive. Okay, uh, and you will need to plug in the power and as well as the uh, IDE. This is the ID. So this is the ID cable. So the ID cable will actually have the notch. So make sure this notch is aligned and not the reverse way, other way around. So you can see that there's a uh, for you, notch for you to go in. Okay, if you force it, it will eventually go in, of course, but it will break the pins. Then you know your next lab partners cannot be, they will not be able to use the lab or the hard disk anymore. Okay, so make sure this is aligned. Okay, um, what I will do is I will not install uh, using this particular uh, cable. Okay, instead I will use the cable here uh, inside a computer. I want you to unplug the existing ID cable from the existing hard disk inside. Okay, you can leave the power on, no issues, because um, the power can be there. All right. If you disconnect the cable, it will disconnect the hard disk from the motherboard itself. Okay, you can see that there are primary and secondary channel already on the uh, computer. Okay, so what I will do is I will make sure I align and I will just just slide it in, just like that. Okay, and I also have to make sure that I have a power. So this is the first thing we need to check. Okay, so there are three things for you to look out for. First is that you have the um, the ID cable connected power connected and as well as the master configuration for your jumper settings. After that you will just simply push it on top of your computer just like that. Okay. You may want to disconnect your power cable if it's too short. Okay. Now I have one and only uh, hard disk. Okay, we are ready to install the operating system. Usually uh, you'll have the uh, use the C D to install. Okay. And you can see the CD also uses the ID cable. Basically, you can fit in the same ID cable into the CD. Okay, CD-ROMs also can have the jumper settings like uh, master, slave, or cable select, depending on where you try to install. This is a serial um, 33, uh, 8033 um, cable, which can be connected to the uh, the CD-ROM as well. Okay. Um, the only difference you need to note is that there is a cable which is very similar to the ID cable. It's a floppy drive cable. Okay, but if you compare these two, they are not the same. Uh, Size-wise, uh, of course, the ID cable is much larger than the floppy. Okay, and the reason being is that floppy connection is small as well. Okay, floppy will have a different power connector altogether um, with a different cable as well. Okay, with that, um, we'll come back to the Windows 98 installation. We have the Windows 98 CD already inside of our computer. Okay, all we have to do is then and turn off the turn on the computer. The first thing I want you to do is to check your system summary. Make sure that the new hard disk is successfully installed. So with that, you have to press F1 to go into the setup just the computer. Make sure you don't touch the inside of the computer while it is power on. Okay, press F1. Okay, so you will see the configuration change has occurred, uh, which because I have installed a new hard disk. Okay, now I will have big changes and it will just continue, press enter. You don't have to wait for me to, you know, ask you to continue. Press enter again. Now we'll go into system summary and you should see that uh, there should be hard disk installed. Well, I don't have a hard disk installed. Uh, maybe I have to double check my configuration, either the power is not on uh, or the jumper setting is not correct or the cable is not fitted properly. Okay, These are the things you need to look out for and if you, the only way you can see is from going to see it from the system summary.